Tonight, there's a reading crisis that's plaguing our schools nationwide and here in Indiana. It's impacting some of our youngest students. The data is out there and it proves it time and again. Yeah, according to the state, one in five students cannot read by the end of third grade. And it's why there is a new shift in how reading is taught. Very interesting. Tonight, Lauren Costick takes us inside the classroom where not just students, but also future teachers are now learning this new reading curriculum. You guys are such readers. Say, I am a reader. I am a reader. Inside Miss Ryder's class at Hornet Elementary. Ah, uh, show me. Ah, uh, very good. These Beech Grove kindergartners are learning something new. It's called the science of reading. A teaching method Danny Ryder calls a game changer. We're, we're all having to shift our mindset, right? We were doing something completely different before, and now we're doing things a whole new way, but it's a whole better way. Beach that Grove Schools awesome. adopted the strategy this year Aww. after doing a pilot program. It emphasizes comprehension and phonics instead of memorization. D -a -t -t -s -t. Writer says she already sees a difference. It's been really great to see kids take the time, look at a word and sound it out. Tell me what it spells and then be able to write on top of that. It's been amazing. The shift was sparked by state legislation that requires schools to adopt science of reading methods by next school year. The Lilly Endowment also gave millions of dollars to 28 Indiana colleges to help them realign their programs. That includes the University of Indianapolis. What can I do to put kids in a better position? Professor Tracy Johnson is teaching the science of reading to those who will be leading the classroom in just a few years, focused on how the brain learns to read. And really making sure that they are prepared so when they go out to schools, they, um, they're prepared to teach in the world and in the environment that they're in and know all kinds of ways to meet the needs of any and all students that they come into contact with. One of those students is Audrey Campbell, saying the curriculum is even a big change compared to when she was in school. We did a lot of like spelling tests and memorization. I remembered going over it with my parents and we'd have the flashcards. Now looking to use her new skills to help future students, something Danny Ryder is doing right now. Is Hoping soon her students won't be learning to read but rather reading to learn. Say great job, partner. Great job, partner. Yeah, your words look great. In Beach Grove, Lauren Costick, 13 News.